I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more symbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say, blossom.
Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. It warms my heart to see your interest in herbology, dare yes. I say, blossom. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your 
face might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. of all the...
Revelio. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. What was it we were going to do? We were each going to follow a Hogwarts treasure map. I'd suggest you start looking near the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder.
A rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Nice to see you, my young friend. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast... Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. And that's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is... I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton... I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jack Draw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? 
I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well-traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price.
The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Why, you tricky little bounder! Hogsmeade, here I come. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humour you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose.
Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. But what say you? Want to try again? Ready when you are. You must have cheated, you... Oh! Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Place has seen better days.
doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude, is it related?
Brilliant. Get on with those tasks. Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Go. Catching on quickly. <sighs> I think it's learned its lesson, but do continue to practice as long as Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool.
be quicker than that. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. <laughs> ah, but if you don't fill up some... Quickly now! Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus.
Uh, I suppose we could charge right into their mid- said so. Orders? Directly from Ranrock? These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Someone was an avid reader. I can't say I'm familiar with many of these titles. I wonder who this is. With robes like that, it could be anyone. Ah, 
I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. The Reservoir of Ancient Magic, downstairs, near the entry. I've seen this before, in Gringotts and the Restricted Section. have done something. Best have a look around.
traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Let me open. Take her. Stupid guy. These look familiar. of magic do. Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. when I move in and out of the archway. statues.
taking this easy on me. I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic, but where? Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. It. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge.
I'll never get used to these floors.
Another pensive. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. 
Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. Crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. 
They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I should ask Serona at the Three Broomsticks about... There you are. The cross ones. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Here. Try to beat that.
all in the wrist. Not bad. Not bad. Wait, did I win? I won! <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Nothing to it. I'll let you have that one. Try to beat that. All in the wrist. Yeah. Eh, lucky shot. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. Try to beat that. I'll let you have that one. All in the wrist. Accio. Eh, lucky shot. <laughs> Tie game. At least you didn't beat me. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? Another time, perhaps. Can't say I blame you. Perhaps come back when you're a bit more prepared to beat someone of my skill.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hogsmeade, here I come.
not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them. But certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. I should be going now. Thank you. cozy than Hogsmeade. have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. To Malawang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very anyway, well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see... I must tell you, half of Ogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you?
Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races, then. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Oh. 
Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something for honey jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tus tus, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Coaches and training. Just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> Her measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah! There you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? 
It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. What did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope.
There we go. Trouble's brewing, and I'm without my friends. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good.
I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Keep it up. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant, known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu if not for a bit of Bad luck. I know that feeling. Some things are simply out of our control. Mm, and some things are in it. I should have known better. I made my own luck. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. But as tryouts for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. Liquid luck? That's illegal, isn't it? It is indeed. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played for the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me.
incendio. Watch what you're doing. Incendio! Oh, careful! Things will soon go to pot if I'm put out of commission. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form Revenue. of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodesses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I owe my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? 
a couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Ogsmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Hmm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Ah, oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all.
your students getting on with you? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. This must be the Prefect's bathroom. Hello, Amora. would allow them to have wands. One of those goblins comes near me. I'll hand him his hat. Or help, but anyway, I'm not <laughs> She's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone, troll? Hello, Amora. Pavelia. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best. But... I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Oh, well, Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm hustled to Hufflepuffs. What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Pavelia. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent start! Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor.
I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before.
Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Revelio. Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. In the market for potions, are we? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
What are you up to now? Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask! I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula, and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did, and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Ha! Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Nice to see you, my young friend. Wonder who lives here?
This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. You didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. But it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure.
Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? I'm sorry to say I haven't found any more. Oh, how unfortunate. I was hoping you'd found them and removed those blasted moons. I'll keep an eye out for more Demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? <laughs> How offensive. Next campaign, a genius. Happy oh. now?
incendio. be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby.
This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Accio! Revelio! Seems a pleasant enough little place.
You'll regret crossing my path. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see how good students are during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. I should be going now. Thank you. I should investigate. Here we are. Oh, Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Melda. So, another trial? Of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge.
I'd say that was acceptable. Seems my record remains untouched. I expected better competition from you. What do you say? Up for another go? Wouldn't want to be known as the slowest Slytherin now, would you? I'm ready to give it another go. Good. Say that was acceptable. Brilliant. Close, but not close enough. acceptable
and you've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Hogsmeade, here I come. Back from your latest flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Eindel course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. You're back. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today?
Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Alohomora. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. Off on another adventure, are we?
doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stacked shelf. Revelia. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions.
What are you up to now? Your life ends here. Shame.
looks intriguing. <gasps> Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Yes, indeed. Talking to myself again, I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle. Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband, Greville, insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. I should look into the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. said that travel broadens the mind. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Incendio! This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Why are there so many vases around here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases.
Incendio! I think there should only be a few more vases. Finished. Only one more vase. Incendio! That's it. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. in London.
Incendio! Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? I know a Merlin trial when I see one.
There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Incendio!
Amos. What do we have here? A demi guys.
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Ravenia. Rebellion. If it thinks it's got half a chance, a werewolf would be on you like both Huffles to Dossiers. Oh, it's not one thing, it's the other. Hollyjuice Potion wants keeping away from today's young, I'd say. Send me Thank you. 
Could it be a Merlin trial? Incendio!
can bring them. It's so tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. I should investigate. Lumos. Lumos. Incendio!
Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What do you have in store for me this time? It feels. You ought to cut back on pudding. Mistook you for a Take it. Ranrock has fooled you all to your demise. now, Demi guys. <sighs> it's like a place right out of a storybook. A bit of dying, are we? Incendio!
incendio. Alohomora. Who lives here? Off on another adventure, are we? Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend.
said that travel broadens the mind. You there, can you help me? What is it? What's wrong? Goblins, that's what. Ranrock's lot, nasty creatures, ambushed me they did, nothing safe anymore. I need a little something, something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion, that would do it. If you can't defend yourself, you'd be better off staying out of their way. I'm not giving you charity. You'll be sorry. When Ranrock's loyalists come to take me away, you'll be sorry then. If a wizard can't count on someone in the wizarding community to help against goblins, what has it come to? Revelio. Concentrate. What's that? You little... Oh. 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 So, the hunt begins. Expulsion! I'll stick to the point. Don't go down easy! 
How embarrassing! Oh. Incendio! What was that sound? Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. 
incendiary! This looks intriguing. Experiomics! Accio! Legs is simply too many. Abandoned long ago, no doubt.
I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. You sent crates of cabbages to battle Ranrock's loyalists. I did indeed. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiai. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Very well, sir. I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. What do you have for sale? I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. I'll be able to put that to good use. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place.
What do we have here? A demi. Hello, Amora. Ravenia. Rebellia. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Incendio! Can't trust the young. House elves are wizard kind's best friend. Revelio! Welcome, welcome. Uh, do have a look around. Unicorn blood will keep you alive, certainly. What speaking, needs doing, needs doing. Like is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologised when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. <sighs> he just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. I'm inclined to agree with them. Trolls are dangerous creatures. I know. I know. But I had to try. 
I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. I wish I knew someone else who could do it. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no! I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. A troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. like a place right out of a storybook. Beetle the Bard is a bit... <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. My first employment was at Honeydukes. I take it you're Alexandra's friend? needed to be saved from that troll. I question any. Wonder who lives here. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him.
There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own, but truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Slayer has a nice ring to it. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind.
Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. In the forest. Good luck. Muggles have made life harder. Hogsmeade, here I come. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willisie might get an answer about these butterflies. we have here.
There's a victory that came on too soon. <sighs> Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willardsey. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. more.
not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell when no one's looking. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Not sure how I... <sighs> I know what that means. Malin trial. My mother used to say I was lazy and she didn't pick up my toys, she said. Her own fault. <laughs> The of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Patrol. Now the most exciting thing round right here is a limp wren. You should never have come here. For as snooty as upper Hogsfield is, we don't have much to steal. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crackcroft.
you know. One crate in hand. I only need one more. Incendio! Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Enjoy suffering, do you? I can see why Feldcroft needs. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabinets. all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Special delivery for my dear friend, Eddie. Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. 
the same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. of Angelica, all three.
How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice... Up here. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go... here. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Alohomora. Don't you see the romance of it all? You and I, we are the stuff of poems. Our love is the muse of a thousand rhymes.
a little more. I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn to find it. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. What do you think Black's wife is like? She must be miserable. <coughs> Although, not while he's here. <sighs> do you suppose Black's children are as condescending and ill-tempered as he is? Why would Black want to be... <laughs> of course, I'm not sure what he would actually be good at. Perhaps something at Azkaban. Does Professor Black have children of his own? Rebellion! Off on another adventure, are we? Hogsmead, here I come.
Ravenia. Incendio! Confringo! Incendio! You're the one who released Treadwell, aren't you? That was a mistake, my friend. Confringo! Stupid 
Well, go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. Incendio! Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class.
knowledgeable. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it, but I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy, and that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? and put your newly honed skills to the test outside of the classroom. get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. 
I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. What do we have here? A demi guys. now, demiguys.
Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. An honest day's work for an honest signal. Hello. Good to see you all. Good to see you too, Amit. Very generous. Thank you. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Pavelio. Gok, Serona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. 
Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Serona trusts me, and she said she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind sees things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Oh, dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The Helmet of Ertgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the Goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else, a symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to Goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. I don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb. Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. 
Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Rebellion. Bid. be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. <sighs> I have a feeling I'm not alone here.
Incendio! Incendio! Rebellion. Lumos. Hmm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. Lumos.
Revelio. Incendio. Incendio. Need to get that platform closer, but how? What's that hanging there? It looks precarious.
Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Making this spin ought to raise that platform. That must be it. Lumos. Closer. Lumos. Lumos. The witch's final resting place. Lodgok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. A dead Ashwinder. Better show this to Lodgok. Incendio. 
must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good, there's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Must have been quite stately in its time. Revelio. Thank you. 
wasn't so difficult. Revelio. Accio. Confringo. Expelliarmus. Accio. I hope you have your affairs in order. There they are. The Ashwinders. Huh? I'll make you wish you were back at school! No!
Incendio! Incendio! Rebellia. That's it. This is for Rookwood. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? You're the one who released Treadwell, aren't you? That was a mistake. <laughs> I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It just looks like a helmet to me. Ah, 
You're looking at what it is, rather than what it means. To most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, huh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Hogsmeade, here I come. I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? You'll see it was a mistake parting ways with me.